Is this thing on? Oh, this is the Insta360ONE-R. Recently, the Insta360 released a video that showcased the Insta360ONE-R on a Harley Davidson. Now that all looks pretty good at 20 kilometers an hour. Let's see how it fares on a Harley Davidson at regular speeds. Now that's a challenge. I'm Fletch and I'm here now on the bike ready to take off. Uh, and I have my uh, Insta360 just mounted like this, as you can see. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a little ride around for the first time in a long time to be able to see uh, how it handles at uh, higher speeds because there's one point where I can actually take it up to a much higher speed to be able to see uh, if it does do a good job or not. Now, uh, before I continue, I'd like to do a little shout out uh, in the spirit of Sport MVC, and this is to uh, my Dun Life. Do please check out his channel. I'll leave his description in the cards above and in the description below. Uh, what it is is that his channel is all about travel, about family, and he rides uh, an A83 Sportster. Please do go and check out his channel. My Dun Life is the name of his channel again. I'll leave it in the cards above and in the description below. Now, I think when you look at it now, you can actually see that there's some vibrations as well, but they have a stabilization inside. So let's see how the stabilization really works. Now I'm going to do a little spin around uh, the neighborhood and take it to uh, the, well, not really a highway, but a major road to see how I do and how I fare uh, with the uh, Insta 361R. And this is the 360 module. And then I'll try to show you some sights uh, using it as well and see how it fares. So right now, let's go. Oh, come on birds. Okay, so this is uh, where I stay. Uh, this is my apartment block. I'll check it easy a little bit. Now, when I mention the vibrations, it's because uh, this is the Twin Cam 103 and the uh, new Milwaukee 8 um, has, I think, better counterbalance and rubber mounts so that there will be less vibrations as well. In fact, I had used this uh, camera on my review of the Street Glide. You can... Uh, you can check it out in the cards above. And uh, it did fairly well. There was practically no uh, vibrations at all. Uh, I didn't see anything uh, too bad about the video. And anyway, they do have uh, stabilization uh, on these cameras. It's called uh, flow state stabilization. Uh, similar, of course, to uh, the GoPro's uh, Hyper Smooth. Now, for the audio, I'm still using the Bluetooth uh, connection to this particular camera because I wanted to try and see how it fares like uh, on the road. But uh, for for safety's sake, you know, my secondary audio is from my 10C Evo. Uh, that's why the uh, view is a little bit different from what it was usually, right? So where I am, uh, 
is an estate that's adjoining to an industrial estate, uh, as you can see across. I'm waiting for traffic lights here. I, mean, I might do a swing around, to take a look at uh, the views and show you what it looks like and then come back to the front view again. I, I prefer the front view most of the time because it seems like we're, you know, we're talking, I'm talking to you and I'll be able to, uh, it looks like I'm engaging you anyway, right? So uh, I, I, I prefer this view, but sometimes it's good to be able to have uh, the road view as well, the way to see the traffic conditions and so forth and maybe the, the scenery, but with a 360 camera, it will mean that I can do both. Taking a slightly longer way to get to where I want to go. Uh, I know I put up a lot of videos uh, recently about uh, what I should be wearing and all that, but you know, this is a quick 15 minute uh, around my uh, neighborhood. Uh, not that I don't think that anything will happen to me, but if you could see how hot it is, I think you'll realize uh, how bad it can be. It is really hot. about the mount that I have on this particular camera that uh, because of the speed it's suddenly uh, flipping down and uh, what's happening is that I have to keep adjusting it but the good thing is that uh, I was doing about 80 kilometers an hour just now so uh, I don't know I have to reevaluate the mount here uh, to be able to see what's the best way to do this. Uh, I'm adjusting just now, I actually put my finger on the, the lens so that I got blocked out a little bit. That was a bit dumb. Anyway, probably cut that out. Seems to be faring pretty well. Uh, I, although I can see quite a, quite a bit of a shake on the uh, or vibrations on the camera, I don't uh, suppose it's going to be that bad. In any case. Still trying to adjust this. I'm doing roughly at about uh, 70 kilometers an hour slower now that I'm behind this guy. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing it a little bit slower, not because I'm afraid of the vibrations, but I wanted to be able to then show the versatility of. Uh, of a camera like this because on the right hand side after you see the bridge here right hand side here is the reservoir beautiful beautiful uh, scenery uh, and that's an oil refinery and on the other side is the other part of the reservoir uh, as well you know just on that side uh, I'll have the view swing across I'll end up keeping on to the uh, left lane because uh, there are a couple of interesting views that we can see uh, as we pass by. In fact, there's an airport uh, near where I am and should be able to capture that as well. Then I'll do a U-turn or something and be able to then uh, show you. Now this corner that I'm taking uh, is actually where all the uh, aircraft manufacturing and aerospace uh, industry is. Uh, I think through the bushes here you can see some of the aircraft.
Here's an interesting fact. This building that's coming up called ST Engineering Aerospace uh, here, left-hand side. They, ST like, uh, Technologies also do, does all the firearms for Singapore. So we do uh, our own uh, firearms for the armed forces. We should be coming up to uh, the airport very soon on the, on the left-hand side. I'll try to swing the thing around, but this guy is just going a little bit too slow for me. Okay, hopefully uh, we should be able to see something. Uh, yeah. Okay, on the left-hand side is where the airport is. Uh, here it's mostly cargo planes and some uh, light aircraft for short distances to Malaysia. I uh, can't really see it here. It used to be an Air Force base and they converted to a commercial airline. Probably FedEx and DHL have the aircraft landing here. Uh, right in the back there, I think you should be able to see it now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the left and do a U turn and come back because uh, we're still in lockdown. They've just extended it yesterday to a month and uh, you know I, I don't want to get into trouble with uh, the cops. Right, see on the left hand side there, there's where the uh, aircraft are parked. You can see that there. Yeah, pretty nice. I know they have a couple of bars and restaurants here as well. Um, not sure where it is. I think one day I'll do uh, a little uh, trip there. One of these days. But uh, man, it's been, I don't know, two and a half weeks, three weeks since I rode this bike. And man, it feels good. Okay, so I'm heading back home. And again, you can get a chance to see the airport again on the right hand side now. A little later on, I'm going to slow down. I'm doing an average of about 80 kilometers. 90 kilometers, I'll put the conversion on top. Uh, again, I can't do very much because strangely enough for a lockdown, there's still a, a lot of traffic, you know. Uh, but I think most of the cars that you see here are uh, similar to Uber or Lyft. They're called uh, Grab here, uh, like the one in front of me. And uh, I'm not sure why the guy is going so slowly. Uh, and the reason why I'm slowing down anyway and keeping left is because now if I can swing the view around and you can see uh, the other part of uh, the reservoir. Uh, it's called the Solita Reservoir and that green patch that you see on the other side, that big area, that's a golf course. The weather is really good today, uh, but I can see dark clouds, so I chose the right side to do this. Uh, I hope that this all turns out pretty well. That's a nice view. Look at that. So the greenery that you see in front is the golf course and uh, it's the Solita Country Club, that's what it's called. And uh, really beautiful today, nice blue uh, waters and uh, clear skies for once.
at the other side of course. So interesting things to see. Again, I'm averaging about 80, at one point 80, 90, uh, which isn't really fast, but way over the speed limit for these roads. Uh, it's 70 kilometers an hour on these roads anyway. These are minor roads. Uh -huh. Alright, so we're coming almost to the end of uh, my journey. Um, I do hope that this uh, video turns out pretty good. Uh, and the uh, audio as well. Uh, <laughs> but talking about audio, a little uh, shout out to uh, Mike at Riding in the Ozarks. We'll be doing something uh, together in the future. Well, not much in the future, next week, hopefully. Uh, so you stay tuned for that. Uh, that's Riding in the Ozarks. So again, I'll put his uh, channel description in the cards above and in the uh, comments below. Well, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new and you've watched first time you're watching this channel, thank you very much for joining. Please do uh, click the like button uh, and don't forget to click the subscription button and don't forget to click also the notification bell to let you know of the next time I'm making a video. Once again, thank you very much, folks. I do hope that you are being safe, you and your family, and have safe rides.